In this video, we are going to verify our SafeMoon fork on BSC scan. Verifying your smart contract is very important because it allows you to prove that the code that is deployed at the address of your contract is really the code that you claim it to be. If you don't verify your code on BSC scan, it's very easy for you to deploy some malicious code that will steal the tokens of the investor. All you need to do is to have the same function signature as the SafeMoon token. So it's very, very important that you do this verification, otherwise investor will not trust your token. So for that, you go to BSC scan and you will need to create an account. After you go to sign in and you click on logging. So just to be clear, this account is free. Then you will go to API keys. Then you click on add API key. You give it whatever name you want, like safe moon fork. Then you copy this key. Then you go to your terminal at the root of the project. Then you open shuffle config with your code editor and you go at the very bottom. And here in API keys, you're going to replace this by your API key. You close the string and then you save this file, you quit. And then in package.json, I define a script to run here, verify, so truffle, run, verify, safe moon fork. So that's the name of the smart contract. So here, if you change the name of your smart contract, you need to replace it by the name you use. And we target the BSC network. Okay, so we're gonna run this script with npm run verify. And it has successfully verified our contract. So you can copy paste this address. And now when you go to the BSC scan page of your token, for the contract tab, instead of seeing the bytecode of the contract, you should see this interface. You should also see the green check marks, which means you have been verified. So you can read the source code of your contract here. And you can read the contract. So here you can scroll down and you can execute a couple of functions. For example, you can get the balance of a specific address. You can get the number of decimals. So it's nine, etc., etc. All the functions that are read only, you can read them from the interface. And you can also execute function that modify the state of your contract in the right tabs, approve, decrease allowance, exclude from fee, etc, etc. So it gives you a simple user interface for your smart contract. It's probably not good enough for end users, but for admin, it's enough. All right, that's it for the verification of your smart contract.